Hey guys, Jack here from Drive iTech. For the past three weeks, I've been meaning to upgrade the stereo on my car with this 9 inch Android system. However, while researching, I discovered that these stereos are all powered, well, most, with a 12 volt power on a ground. Ooh, I've got a bunch of these 12 volt power cables lying around as my neglected guitar pedals no longer need them. <laughs> I wonder. So today, we're going to be powering this 9 inch Android stereo using a wall plug. And just before we start, if you enjoy this video or learn anything from it, we don't say no to likes if you know what I mean. So what do we need? A stereo? A stereo harness? A 12 volt power supply? Disclaimer. Just a heads up, I'm using a 12 volt power source with a power pack in the middle just because I'd rather not take a trip over to the switchboard. So if you're like me but don't have a power pack, I'd recommend using a surge protective power board. Wire splitters or pliers? And some electrical tape. Let's get started with the harness. To get started, let's locate the 12 volt power, ground and accessory trigger wire on our harness. Note, if you have wiring diagrams, check to confirm your harness. Also, I've linked a wiring diagram for most standard harnesses in the description. Okay, so with the plug clip facing up, the 12 volt on my harness is a yellow cable on the bottom left and the ground is a black cable directly above it. These two are much thicker than the others in the harness so it makes it a bit easier to identify. And to the right of the ground there is a red wire and this is our trigger wire. So now we know what wires we need, so if you have a custom harness just pull them out of the terminals and if you don't have terminals that's okay too, just leave them as is. Next, the 12 volt power supply. So take the end we want to use and just cut it off. Make sure it's not plugged in. Now we can use the wire splitters or pliers to get rid of some insulation and bam! 12 volt power, red and ground, black. Then we'll set the wire splitters to smaller and strip an inch or so off these two wires. Next we just bring the harness back in and we're going to wire ground to ground or black to black and power to power and trigger or red to yellow and red. No, red is power but yellow is the trigger wire. This would normally tell the system to turn on during ignition and since we only have a wall, hopefully our wall makes a good ignition. So we spread these wires out and kind of braid them together and then we're going to wrap these up and throw some electrical tape over them. Once these are both wrapped up, you've got yourself a 12 volt wall plug to harness and you're done. Once plugged into the wall and the system, just flick on the power and there we go. We've powered an Android stereo in our own home. Now, it's time to have some fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll also be making a video on wiring up either two to four speakers to the system. Maybe build a little wooden box with some speakers and an on off switch. Let me know if you have any suggestions or feedback. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And if you made it this far, do the things like subscribe, make it a secret, tell a friend. Have a good day. Cheers.